welcome back. We're going to be doing Alice in Chains drones. This one's going out for orange coloured sky over at Patreon. Thanks indeed for your support. Straightforward tones, you need a distortion pedal and a wah pedal for this one, and that's about it. I'm using the Friedman BEOD, and I'm also using the Jam pedals Wacko. So there's the settings. Let's crack on with the first riff, shall we? It's in 3 4, and tuning wise, you're going to have to tune your entire guitar down half a step, which is pretty standard fare for Alice in Chains stuff. So. Should sound like that. First riff we have. So that's the first two measures of the phrase, right? And you'll notice that it's very similar. You're going to be playing. with a choice note at the beginning, right? So you'd have, for the first time, like that, okay? Second time, okay, you've got the tab, I'm not gonna call the notes out, but just in terms of the fingering, I use my second finger there, and I use my second finger there. You could use your first, but you, you know, you're playing it with kind of that bit of your finger, then you lose quite a lot of control. Then for the repeat, first phrase is the same. And the variance on the second repeat is... This is, I think, the same throughout. We have this. Like that, okay? I just played that twice. You're going to play it four times. So you've got a power chord on the second fret for one beat. Then you do a rest. And then on the uh, three and, you do an upstroke and hit the open low. Or E flat as it now is, and then back in. Two, three, two, three, two, three, and then we have that same turnaround as before. So four times around of that. Then you go around that intro part again. All that stuff. The only difference is the second repeat it plays. and it segues into the chorus. So you basically have. That holds out for three beats. Then you go to this power chord, third fret on the A, but with the fifth in the root, okay? So three, three, five, five, and you're gonna play that four times. Okay, so one, two, three, four, change. Slide it down one fret and let it um, ring out for the remaining two and a half beats. One, two, three, two, two, three. Then you go to a power chord, three, five, five. One, two, three, two, two, three. Back to the first chord. Then you go back around the intro part. There are some wah fills over the top that I'll run through. So you, they come in here. And at that point, you come in with. You got that bit first. Pretty straightforward. Without the war, it's... Okay, then we've got... That's what you're playing, right? So then with the war... Wow, 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 wow. 
some pretty straightforward stuff. We've got um, stabs here. Three of those and then slide, seven to nine. And then a bend and release. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? And we've got... Slide your third finger down two frets. Then up to the 14th fret. Flatten your first finger. And play that. There's another fill over the verse which goes... go back into the chorus again. Now the next bit's cool, it goes into like a 6-8 type feel. There's definitely two guitars at least being played. I think it's a 12 string. The distortion one, I think, goes. That's the first and third time. Second and fourth time goes. You've got that little little turnaround, right? That's the second and fourth times. Now, over the top of that, I hear stuff like, you know, all that stuff going on, but I think that's because it's it's done on a 12 string. But you could also play. Play that the first and third times, and then on the um, second and fourth, you'd play. Is, matches that, okay? But I would go for the low version. I like that the best. So again, round that twice. Now next up we're into the solo, which is awesome. It plays over uh, most of that. But then there's some chords that come in later on. Um, I'll show you when those come in. But I would have had a bit of reverb. Uh, and you want the wire on as well for this. Good. That first note is just worth it alone. So, so let's start there. Man, that is good. So the ninth fret goes up a half step. And that uh, goes on for like, you're going to be counting one, two, three, two, two, three, right? Throughout these. So one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. You know, one, two, three, one, two, three. So just get that meter in your head, right? But man, you want to get the wah just a little bit. Until it opens up a bit into that real vocal sort of. We've got those lovely overtones going on, right? Then we've got a hammer on. Just before the beat. Pretty straightforward. Then we have this. Okay. I would use my second and third fingers here. Like a quarter step bend there. When you go for the 12th fret, I would hit the open uh, E as well. Because you get that real cool overtone going on. Then. Okay, so. And then we have. You could stay on the 12th fret for this part on the top string. And 
and then up to the uh, 16th fret. But I think it's just got a much nicer quality when you're bending on the on the B string. Just my preference. And then we got this part. That's lush too, isn't it? Then the chords change and we have this. And the chords that come in there, turn the reverb off goes. Okay, back to the lead part, so we have... Then it's back into three form, we've got this really cool part which goes... Very Jerry, isn't it? Let me turn that off. So bend and release, then we have... Pretty straightforward stuff when you break it down, and then you just repeat this to the end. And there's some, you know... Some various fills that go on over the top of that. But hopefully, that's enough. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.